In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the Learning Ally audiobook application. This tutorial is for students and families. However, teachers can utilize this tutorial as well to help walk their students through the application. So you can see here, I'm at my Google homepage. Um, the students will be able to access Learning Ally through Classlink. But for right now, I'm going to enter learningally.org into my search bar and hit enter. This is going to bring me to my home page and I'm going to hit login. Okay, this is going to take us to the home page for Learning Ally. All of the students have been added as a member. However, if you did forget your username or password, you can click on the links and follow the instructions to re-access your account information. So I have my username and password saved and I'm going to hit login. Again, you will be able to access via Classlink as well. When we reach our dashboard, we will see some suggested materials and another instructional video about how to add a book, as well as our bookshelf. These are the books that I have added to my account, okay? As well as a log of progress. So we have the whole week here and it'll show how many pages we have read and what date the book was added to your bookshelf. Your teachers have added or can add books to your bookshelf, but you also have the unique opportunity to browse audiobooks as well. So let's do that. I'm gonna click on this link right here that says browse audiobooks. You can also find it at the top of the page as well. Looks just like this. So we have the ability to filter by grade, so I can look at seventh grade materials, 12th grade materials, whatever you think is right for you. You can also choose by Lexile or by subject matter, okay? I'm going to go back and I want to search by an author. So I'm just gonna hit this back button again. And I'm going to type in uh, the title of an author that I was interested in. Um, I heard some kids talking about this author, and I'm going to type in Jason Reynolds. I hear Ghost was a big hit. If that was a book that you had read, you can search by the author and find more books by that same person. You can also search by title if you know the title of a book that you wish to read. So I have some selections by Jason Reynolds. And I'm going to select Long Way Down. You can do an audio preview. Just click on the link. Anagram is when you take a word and rearrange the letters to make another word. So you can hear the voice. You can listen to it for a full minute and decide if this is something interesting to you. And when you're ready, you click Add to Bookshelf. You will then be prompted to listen to the book via the application. This is the only way that you're going to be able to listen to the books. So you can have the Learning Ally app on your smartphone, either your iPhone or your Android. You can also listen to the audiobooks via the Chrome Web Store. The, the devices, the application is already installed on your Chromebook. If you do not see it there, you can also download the application for Windows PC or for your Mac. So check the computer that you have and download the correct application for your device. So again, the App Store is for the iPhone, Google Play is for Android, the Chrome Web Store is for your Chromebook or Chrome web browser. Uh, for Windows PC is to install right onto your computer, and for the Mac App Store is to download on your Mac computer. So when you're ready to download, you're just going to click on the application that works for you, and you're going to follow the steps to install. Okay, so we, ha we are using the Chrome web browser, so here it would bring us to the Chrome web store, and we can click launch application, and it will bring us to our bookshelf, okay? So we're gonna just, exit. and in here we can also add books. We can manage your books. You can refresh, but you can see here that it does refresh in real time. Let's go back to the settings for a second. You can search through your books. 
and you can add and store vocabulary. So those are pretty neat features. So here we have my library, and these are all of the books that I have downloaded. So I'm going to take a look for the book that I just downloaded. It's called Long Way Down. And when I'm ready to read, I'm going to open this up a little bit. I'm going to click on the download button. Also a neat feature, we have some extra recommendations. So if you like that book, you can download similar titles as well. So that's pretty neat. I'm going to click on Long Way Down. You'll hear that chime. And when the book is ready to go, we can see it loading. We can then click on the button that says play, and it'll bring us to the book. Okay. Don't nobody believe nothing these days. Here you can see that I have saved some settings. I have my background color in black and my font in white. Um, we can go into the settings and take a look at our preferences. I'm going to click on text and I'm going to increase the size of the font and I'm going to space it out a little bit so that it's easier for me to see. Okay, this is our background color. I'm going to change this over to white or nice gray so it looks like paper and I'm going to change my font color to black. I'm also going to change my highlighter to a nice light green. Okay. And I'm going to go back up to the top. And I'll hit save. And these settings are saved. So I'm going to X out of there. And now I'm going to play. Don't nobody believe nothing these days. Which is why I haven't told nobody the story I'm about to tell you. So you'll see that as the reader goes along, it highlights each sentence. When you get to a part of the book that you would like to save or take notes on, you can click on the flag with the plus sign in the top right hand corner of your screen. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring up the last line that was highlighted. So I'm going to add your notes. This is suspenseful. Whatever notes that appeal to you or that are appropriate for your class. And I'm going to hit save. And truth is, you probably ain't going to believe it either. So it goes to continue to read. You can always press the back button and it'll, it'll go backwards for a little bit. Or you can fast forward for My a little bit. Will. Down on the left bottom screen corner of the screen, you have a table of contents. And you can take a look at the chapters. And you can also take a look at the pages. Okay. Once you start reading and collecting your notes and bookmarks, this page, this tab will fill up. Okay. So I have some notes. I start in a note. You can edit your notes and you can share them as well. You can also delete a note if you need to. Okay. So and you can also do another bookmark here. This will bring you right to the bookmarks page. Okay, so again, to reiterate, to listen to the audiobook application, after you download a book or add it to your bookshelf, you're going to use the device, you're going to use the application appropriate to your device. And here's my device link right here. Okay, so I hope this helps and happy reading.